morning. <laughs> Let's try that again. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a good day. It's a good morning. It's a very special day for me. Today is December 9th, 2022. It is 6.31 in the morning. I am driving. This is day two of me driving. I have my coffee. Let me just talk about something right quick. Okay, let, let me talk about the important stuff. So today marks the third year anniversary of my mom's passing. I am not in tears. I am clear in the head. I feel good. Um, today is a day of remembrance. Today is a day for me of celebrating the life of someone who I adore, I love. Um, it's gonna be a good day. Now, yesterday's video, um, I took you guys with me to Samananda and then I went to my doctor to the pharmacist to pick up my medication because of the insomnia let me tell you my body tried to fight those the, the medication I'm not gonna lie my body tried to fight it I took the um, the pill it starts with a T Tramadone, Tramodone, something like that. Anyway, I took the pill at like five minutes to six. Um, and I did look up um, online some of the side effects and things of that nature. And then the paperwork it came with, I went ahead and, and looked at it. I reviewed it really quick just to look for side effects and what to expect. And I was not sleepy. Now, I did feel a little loopy, but I wasn't sleepy. I did a lot of yawning. Um, my, um, yeah, so I think ultimately I fell asleep around 8.30, something like that. But a side effect that I am experiencing, and I don't know about you guys, but let me tell you, Anytime I take something, are you going to turn or are you just, all right. One thing I can say about medication, right? And I don't take a lot of it. I normally stick with the natural supplements, which I've stopped all of my natural supplements because I thought it was contributing to my insomnia, right? However, um... Anytime I take medication, get a prescription from a doctor, I am the one who always suffers from the side effects. Now, sometimes a doctor will say, well, yeah, only 10% of the people that I prescribe such and so medication to, they don't have any side effects. No, no, no. I'm, I am going to get the side effects. So some of the side effects um, of this anti-insomnia medication. Oh, and it also helps with depression, anxiety, blah, blah, blah. So some of the side effects is nausea. I'm experiencing that. Thank you very much. Headaches. Thank you very much. I have a slight headache. I woke up with one this morning and I still have one. So normally when I get headaches, I kind of abuse water um, because to me, when you have a headache, it's because you are... Um, dehydrated right um, but I know that may not be the case it's probably this medication um, and I've only taken this medication one time just one pill right um, it also says if I remember correctly constipation diarrhea vomiting what else something else or another um, I'm not, I haven't, you know, I haven't been on the medication long enough to experience a diarrhea or constipation, but 
everything else I am pretty much experiencing. No, I have not upchucked, but I am feeling a little bit of the nausea and I do have like a mild headache um, that I am gonna just really abuse water all day today. I am so happy that I'm semi back to my regular routine. I drove myself to the gym. Um, did a good leg workout. Um, after the gym, I went and got my coffee. You know, it's just a little, you better thank God for your feet, you guys. I'm just telling you, thank God for your feet and, and all your other body parts. Because when they go, they go. I got my coffee now. You know I normally get my large. But um, because I am dealing with this insomnia, I think I need to lay off on the big big cup of coffee so this is the small um and as I sip on it it is making me um less nauseated I don't know why but anywho so being that today is Friday I don't know if I'm gonna take the medication again tonight um but one thing that the paperwork did state is it does help recalibrate the body the serotonin in the body so I probably need to take it and again I think I've mentioned it yesterday tomorrow which is Saturday I have um, I have my MRI um, at 3 o'clock and then I have um, like a birthday dinner me and my husband are going to and afterwards they supposed to be going to the club I ain't going to the club because I'm just I'm a woman of a particular age, let's say, and I'm just not interested. If it was a lounge, a blues place, if it was a jazz place, I'd go. But all that bottle girls and popping and locking it, I, I'm just not interested, right? So, um, yeah. Um, oh, another side effect of this pill is it takes away your appetite which is not fun because when I went to racetrack to get my coffee, I normally get um, some pistachios or I might get some veggie chips or something like that. I walked around and I just was like, Egh. Egh. it's so funny how just taking the pill one time can do this, it's weird. But anyway, I got a good night's sleep. I did wake up this morning at about what 3 30 and I normally wake up around 4 15 4 20 since I'm not actively doing um, cardio but um you know I just laid there and um, watched some uh, YouTube but yeah um, I think my trainer took some video because he did have me do some body weight squats today which was a beast yeah it was so, so yeah, let's get to the motivation part. No excuses, right? However, there is a fine line between having an excuse and listening to your body, okay? The no excuses part comes from, yeah, I'm going to the gym, but I, in, in the same breath, I am listening to my body. <laughs> Excuse me. I am listening to my body. I'm backing off because guess what? At the end of the day, I don't want to do any long-term damage. I am still looking, peeking, entertaining the show in May um, here in Georgia. Um, my trainer is still happy with my weight. As, well, as far as my physique, he's happy with the way I look. And my weight, I am keeping it you know, I might be right now 150, 149-ish. Um, and I really don't want to go, you know, I don't want to go crazy. And I'm not going to go crazy. So, mm. and, you know, I've been out of going to church because 
Well, I did go to church last Sunday, me and my husband, but we have not been going. And it's been my fault because I don't, I didn't want to walk up in church with crutches and this boot. And I attend a church where there are a lot of um, older women, older people, period. And they mean well, but all of the questions, what happened and you're having to repeat yourself, I just was not interested. So I have been churching it at home. But I'm back at church. I'm back being a lot more mobile than what I was um, just a couple days ago. So I'm really happy about that. So guess what? It's no excuses. You know, I'm going to do what I can without overdoing it. I am going to listen to my body. I am going to listen to my mind um, and, and, and not listen to it where it kind of just takes over and dictates everything. But I am going to pay attention to my thoughts, correct thoughts when needed, reach out to people when I'm struggling. Um, you know, and being honest. And not that I'm a liar, but I am. Because normally when people say, hey, you know, how are you doing? You know, I'm quick to say, I'm good, I'm fine, right? And sometimes I'm not. And we need to stop doing that. Women do it a lot. You know, and I'm not saying that every time you go to the grocery store and the cashier says, hey, good morning, such and so, how are you doing? And you say, well, you know, I'm, I'm having a, you know, a, a struggle day and, and air out all your grievances to a, to a stranger. I'm not saying that, but we need to stop walking around being fake. And I'm not being funny when I say that, but it's either we're being fake or we're totally ignoring how we're feeling, right? And we need to stop doing that. We really do. I know I was talking to my husband last night and he was, I was telling him about some of the things and I, I kept saying to him, I told you this. And he was like, Maya, you, you didn't, you didn't share that with me. And I don't know, I guess I didn't. So I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better because I can and I'm going back to see my therapist. I think I can do a video chat to see my therapist. I need to do that. You know, um, a lot of us need to do that because it's just a lot. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I know the, the past three years just have been odd and full of grief and full of pain you know in reference to my mom it's just weird and I was telling the doctor yesterday I've noticed a change in me it's almost like when I try to speak sometimes I can't find the words whereas at one time the words were there but it's like it's hard for me to communicate in a way that I think that the person is maybe not quite understanding me and even my husband says, sometimes I talk in circles or we can be talking about apples. And like two minutes later, I kind of drift off to talking about grapefruits, right? It's like, I can't stay on task. I'm very foggy in the head, right? And it's been since my mom, you know, and I need to I need to really seek medical um, behavioral health attention in reference to that and get back on track because you can just go so far left that it's so hard to come back and the good thing about my therapist is she's not quick to put me on some anti-depression medication she really wants to see people work do the work right and if medication of course is needed then she prescribes as necessary, you know, but I can appreciate a therapist who challenges us to do the work. So, yeah, 
It's wild. Life is wild. Life is wild. And it's so funny because I am a grief <laughs> educator. But it doesn't mean I have it all together, right? It just means I'm qualified to talking to people and helping people navigate through their journey of grief. But what I'm noticing is, I don't know about in other countries, but here in America, we get so weird about grief. We don't, we feel uncomfortable when people talk about grief or what they're going through and how they're feeling about their loved one down to even mentioning their loved one's name we need to normalize grief because it is normal right it's a part of our life right in everyone's grief journey requires honor your grief journey is different than mine but i should honor your journey right we don't do that. We try to run away from the person that's grieving. Or we try to fill in the silence. Oh, that's a big one. It's like when you're speaking to someone who is grieving. Um, and they get quiet. You get quiet. It's almost like you have to say something. Sometimes silence is best. So people can process what they've said or how they're thinking. Or, you know, just process what they're going to say next. Silence is okay. And we need to stop feeling so weird when, when people are crying and they're grieving over their loved one. Uh, we, we need to normalize this. We need to start making it safe, a safe place for people to express how they're feeling, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be where, wherever, in person, it doesn't matter. Hmm. I know I haven't experienced it yet because my channel is, is so small, right? But when I'm on other people's channels and I look at the comments, you know, sometimes you just go straight to the comments before you start really absorbing what the what the person's content is about. And people are just, they got balls. That's all I have to say. They say some retarded stuff, some weird stuff. Like, if you don't like that person you're watching, don't watch them. Or if you disagree with what they have to say, disagreements are awesome. Let's have that conversation, but don't be rude. Oof. That's so 1980. That's what we did in the 80s. We, we, we said things, you know, we had a poor way of having disagreements. But now in 2022, about to be 2023, come on now. People's communication skills and, and uh ability to uh respectfully debate people don't know how to do that it's weird you know what i think it was on tiktok was it tiktok or was it youtube um i had posted one of my um just a snippet a short of me working out because, you know, my trainer records all of us from time to time and somebody was like you shouldn't be x y and z You shouldn't be, I don't, I don't even know what this is, but I just was like, and then as a content creator, we have to also check ourselves and not be so reactive to people's response. And, and I wanted to really blast this person because in my mind, I'm a trainer too. I know what I'm doing. I know what my body is capable of doing, yada, yada, yada. And I just had to really just delete my response and basically say, because to a point that person was right and I just was like you know thank you for your response thank you for watching or whatever I said we got it we all hold a responsibility to what comes out of our mouth or what we type right I know I'm all over the place I told you I'm all over the place
we all have a responsibility. I know that everyone thinks that we're protected by the First Amendment and freedom of speech, um, but that's false, right? It's false to a point. You can't just say anything. You just can't. You got to be careful what you say. These people are sensitive. And a lot of people don't have the wherewithal to um, to respond with a thank you for your POV or whatever the case may be. People be... It gets weird, you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm about to pull up to the house in just a second. Um, and start my day. I need to send out my text. I send out a text every morning to my um, motivation and muscles group. And I send out some inspiration um, every single day, not the weekends, but just Monday through Friday. And um, I need to go ahead and do that. So you guys have a blessed one. Make good choices. Check on your mental health. I said that yesterday. If you need to back away from YouTube, because it's always, and I mean always something going on, back away. Watch a funny YouTube if you just have to watch YouTube, right? Watch something that's light, something that's not so heavy on the brain, because we, we are living in some heavy times. So make good choices. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. And maybe um, I'll talk to you tomorrow on my way to, um, to get my MRI. We'll see. We will see. All right. Love you.